did you know that there's an easy way to set up your website so that it will actually talk to people? Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know about speakable markup in under five minutes. Let's dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so speakable markup. Speakable markup is actually schema, uh, which is a type of code that you put inside the code of your website, a little piece of code that you put inside of your website that will identify sections of a web page or article to speak to somebody. So you can mark up a little piece of text in, inside of the code of your website, and that's going to actually speak it to somebody through a couple different ways that I'm gonna talk about. And that's called TTS, which is something called text to speech. And this is done through the Google Assistant. So for the Google Assistant, which is something that's in everybody's phone, and if you're on Android, and that's something that's also inside of uh, a lot of browsers and things like that, the Google Assistant is in, is in you know, hundreds of thousands to billions of devices, and it's getting bigger and bigger. The Google Assistant will use this speakable markup to return information to people who do searches, mostly for news queries. So if somebody's searching for something around the news, in many cases, they will pull the speakable markup. But there's some things that you need to do if you wanna make sure that you actually can get this speakable markup to be returned inside of the Google Assistant. And I'm gonna jump into that. So first, what do you need to do to get started? Well, the first thing is you need to understand that there are guidelines that you need to follow, and I'm gonna go through some of those. You need to make sure that you add markup to a page. So as I talked about adding markup to a specific part of the page, but you can't add it to the whole page. I'm gonna talk about some of those subtleties. And then you need to test and validate it to make sure that Google's picking it up properly, that everything's marked up right. And then finally, when you submit your content, you need to wait five business days to see whether or not Google's actually going to allow that content to be shown inside of the Google Assistant. Now, while that's the case, these guidelines are actually somewhat substantial. So let's take a look at that. So first, on the t technical side, you can't have any confusing content. So anything like dates that, that don't really match up or too many numbers that are in there or just things that seem kind of jumbled, those type of things won't get approved. The content needs to be very clear, needs to be very succinct. That's what Google wants. They want to be able to return things that make very clear sense to the user. Also, you need to focus on the key points. So instead of you know, just putting in a whole bunch of text or a whole bunch of numbers, what are those you know, two to three key things that you wanna return that you wanna be spoken to somebody? Now on the content side, they want concise headlines as much as possible, and they wanna have summaries. And then they also recommend breaking up stories into individual sentences. So if you have a news story, or in, in this speakable markup will definitely be something that can be used for other types of content in the future as well, but if you just have a news story, for example, then what you wanna do is don't just put the whole story in there. Break that up into these concise types of, of snippets that will be responded to directly from the speakable markup. And then also you wanna have 20 to 30 seconds of content. So you don't wanna have more than 20 or 30 seconds of content, otherwise it might not get approved, okay? Also, in addition to that, you need to follow the general webmaster guidelines. So just all the general webmaster guidelines that you need for anything in Google. It's a pretty lengthy document. And then you need to have structured data general guidelines. And at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna pull up on the screen and show you what an example of speakable markup structured data looks like. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so now as you can see, when you're looking at it, you have content schema.org type web page. You can see the name of the page. It says speakable type. And then you've got a, a couple other things there and then it gets into the actual pre-markup, which is what you would actually be returning that is spoken to the person. So that's actually what a piece of speakable markup looks like. So that's it for speakable markup today. Something that is gonna get bigger and bigger, I am sure, as the Google Assistant continues to grow. If you are a news site, 
really recommend marking up specific pieces of your web page with this speakable markup so that you can be shown inside of the Google Assistant and it can be spoken to through the Google Assistant. And another thing that's really cool is they always make sure that they cite the source and then if somebody wants to learn more, they will have the URL that is attached directly to that speakable markup and serve to the person so that they can click in and get more information from the news site so it becomes a source of traffic. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions, make sure to ask. I'll see you next time. Bye.